let me say a word in defense of reason in dialogue with faith. Because faith is that proof. Faith unites us to that substance. But reason, in order to realize its full potential, needs the horizons revealed by and truths contained in the faith. And not just any faith, but the Catholic faith. There are several different alleged areas of alleged conflict between science and religion. Some people think, for example, that insofar as religions endorse miracles, Christ's rising from, from the dead, the parting of the Red Sea, uh, miraculous healings and the like of that, insofar as religions endorse miracles, uh, Christian religion anyway, and others as well, there will be conflict between science and religion. Uh, science proposes, propounds, discovers natural laws, so the thought goes. A miracle would be contrary to, a nat to natural laws, therefore there is conflict between science and religion. There is also conflict between um, Christian belief and various theories or themes of evolutionary psychology, which has become much more popular over the last uh, 10 or 15 years and bids fair to become the orthodoxy of, uh, of psychology. There is also a conflict or alleged conflict between uh, certain varieties of scripture scholarship, historical biblical criticism, we could call it, um, in, some, in some, at least some versions of this, some theories propounded there um, are contrary to Christian belief, are incompatible with various parts of Christian belief, for example, Jesus' resurrection. Um, there is something you could call the scientific worldview, which may or may not have a lot to do with science. So in all these areas, there is real or alleged conflict. The area I want to talk about tonight is evolution, where there is a, at least alleged conflict, where in fact conflict has been alleged here at this conference. I want to talk about, uh, that's what I want to talk about. And if you look at the handout, and I hope everybody has a copy of the handout. Uh, by the way, can people hear me all right in the back? Yeah, okay. If you look at the handout then, I'll argue that uh, contemporary evolutionary theory, the scientific theory of evolution, is not incompatible with theistic belief. And I'll argue that the main anti-theistic arguments involving evolution together with other premises also fail. So uh, one position somebody might hold is that um, um, evolutionary theory, just as it stands, is incompatible with Christian belief. Another position would be, well, it's not incompatible with it just by itself, but if you add some very plausible premises, premises everybody agrees with, then those premises together with Christian belief and, evolutionary psycho and, and uh, evolution um, yield a contradiction. And then thirdly, I'll argue that um, naturalism, the thought that there is no such thing as the God of theistic religion or anything like God, is an essential element in the naturalistic worldview, which is a kind of quasi-religion in the sense that it plays some of the most important roles of a religion, answering such questions as uh, what is most real in our universe? Is there such a person as God? Is there a prospect for life after death? How are human beings related to the rest of the cosmos and to the rest of the animal world? And so on. Um, it plays some of the most important roles. And I I'll argue that naturalism, the thought that there's no such person as God or anything like God, is in fact incompatible with evolution. So there is a science slash religion, or perhaps we should say science slash quasi-religion conflict, all right. But it's a conflict between naturalism and science, not between theistic religion and science.